How's it going guys? Today we're gonna take a look at G Water once again. So of course the creator of G Water has not rested and has updated the mod continuously, adding cloth physics, which I'll put in the top right corner. And then after that, if you guys want to see the original G Water mod, I'll put that in the top right corner as well. Anyway, this is G Water. G Water is an amazing water physics simulation type of mod where you can do a lot of fancy things. For instance, this hose right here, press E, it'll start spitting out G Water. So I pretty much wanted to make this video to go over the things that was added. And there's quite a few new things. For instance, we now have a cloth cube. Yes, and I gotta say, this thing is so satisfying. So it looks like a gene cube or a, a jube. Ooh. Let's go ahead and spawn this thing over a... Whoa, that's so cool. It's so squishy. The only thing that sucks, of course, is that you cannot pick it up or interact with it, uh, except for, of course, spawning it. But for instance, here's the regular cloth. Oh, still so satisfying. I love this. The way this... Fluid manipulation works. It's like freaking magic to me in the source engine. But yeah, we also have liquid cloth, which I don't even know what that even means. But it's kind of like cloth, but it, it sort of acts like a liquid. It just kind of spills out. Let's see what it looks like from way up in the air. Whoa. It just like melts. Okay, that is pretty trippy. And of course, I'm sure you guys do still remember the drain. Like I said, I'm not going to go too crazy with this. That's a lot of water, holy cow. I don't know if the visuals got updated, but something about it just looks so much nicer to me. That watery sound though, I swear that was not in it before. So if that's new, that's pretty awesome. But we can see in the top right corner, the absolute maximum amount we have. These are the particles and the limit is, I think, is that 78 or 75,000? Wow, we're already at 44% of that limit. The drain, I don't think this is really working all that well. There's a little bit too much water going on here. But I mean, I could go over all the entities and everything, like with the, this and all that and everything. But I think you guys want to see what the title suggests. And that is heavily inspired by, of course, the creator's YouTube channel, which I will put down below. Definitely check out his channel down below. He's not only the creator of this mod, but he makes some awesome videos as well. But before we go into that, I do want to showcase a really cool feature that I was messing around with and I like. You can make G water act like snow. And at first I thought, what the hell does that even mean? Until I saw this. It's snowing. But it's using the G water particles as snow instead of water. And I think that's pretty neat. Like seriously, that is like awesome. And then you see in the top right corner, it is utilizing our... Um, our particle limit, of course, all these little particles are counting as one individual. But here's something that really kind of caught me off guard, was that you could spawn in even more, and this will act like snow. So for instance, if we just shoot a whole bunch in the air, it'll start coming down like snow. I mean, you can already tell this is acting kind of weird. See how it's just kind of like moving slowly, almost as if it's in like zero gravity. We are getting close to our limit. We're at like 69% AE when we're at 70. But yeah, let's go up here and take a look at what's going on. So it's just kind of sitting there, slowly coming down. But just in case anyone did want to use this as a snow simulator, well, here you go. But we're not here to do that. We're here to flood big city. Let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how that looks. So normally you might think, how is that even possible? I mean, check this out. We're already at 44% of our limit. If we do that again, well, we're pretty much there. And it's also super laggy. Now the water looks amazing because the particles are so fine, but that's kind of the problem, is the number of particles. If we increase the size of each particle, we don't need as many. So because of that, we can flood a much bigger area than with smaller particles. So let's go ahead into the settings here, quick control, and let's increase the radius of each particle. Now when we spawn, oh boy, that is a lot of water for a very small amount of particles. I mean, we're still using 44%. The amount of particles is still the same. They're just bigger. And we can see we've completely flooded this section of Big City. So this is how Big City looks with one dose of water. And we can see, yeah, we've already flooded a giant part of the city. But of course we can go even further than that. But something that I ran into right away was that if you get too far, the particles don't load anymore, which is kind of annoying. Of course, 
I ended up going into the tab and going into rendering performance and increasing my render distance all the way. So maybe there is a way to increase the maximum particle limit, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything on the description about it. But I don't think it really matters considering that we don't really need a whole lot since this was one of the waters that we put in. Now we're putting in two, we are kind of already at the maximum, but I'm gonna keep going. Let's see what it looks like. Aha, so there's the problem. When you go over the particle limit, it removes some of the particles from when you first spawned them in. Now, it kind of sucks because, I mean, I know that we're losing frames, but I feel like I could handle a little bit more, like maybe even 100,000 particles, but uh, who knows. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop three. That's the most I can drop in. We're gonna go to the limit here. I'm gonna drop three right smack dab in the middle of big city, and I wanna see how much it floods. Wow, this is pretty insane. <laughs> So let's go right into it. I can't believe we're this high up in water. Now, of course, unfortunately, it's going to spread out and then it's not going to be nearly this high once it all settles down. But still, this is pretty cool. It's really taking me back to the Grand Theft Auto 5 mod I did where I actually submerged the entire city in water with the mod. But I gotta say, this looks freaking gorgeous. Look at this. I never thought I'd see big city submerged. Now, of course, we couldn't submerge the entire city because of the particle limit. But hey, why don't we try to fill the canal? Now, this is, of course, taken from the creator's YouTube page. He was able to fill this entire canal. And I want to see if it holds true with the maximum particle limit. I don't think I need to explain much more. <laughs> we can see it definitely does fill the canal. I mean, everything hasn't even settled yet. And we're already pretty much covering all of it. And when you jump in the water, it pretty much does just act like Half-Life 2 water. You just kind of swim around, you can go up. The water sounds, again, are a very, very nice touch. Holy cow, this is high. If you guys couldn't tell, this is one of my favorite mods ever. Like, I, I hope this still gets updated because I absolutely love this mod. First things first, I do want to try something. I want to try to drop a cloth. Oh, that is amazing. Wow. Okay, that is just blowing me away. Um, I don't know why that's way more amazing than, like, a regular cloth falling. Why is that so big? Whoa, that is insane. We just covered the twin towers in a giant cloth. Can we do multiple? Oh, why does it seem like it's getting bigger? <laughs> I don't remember the cloth being this big. But yeah, you can layer down multiple cloths on each other and it does not look bad. It looks honestly amazing. These are using our particle limits. Let's try liquid cloth. This is one of the most satisfying videos I've done in a long time. Maybe even more than my ASMR video I did. All right, let's go ahead and do what we came here for. And that is, of course, to spawn water right at the top of the towers. Oh, well, okay. Guess we're just going to go right into it. So I did want to make it a different color. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks weird. I did not expect it to look all digital like that. Uh, wait, why is it... Oh no, I messed up. It's in the skybox, that's the problem. Okay, let's do that again. This time, we're going to spawn it right here, and there we go. Spawn three of them. That looks so trippy. <laughs> I didn't expect it to look all red and digital like. It kind of reminds me of the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess when those portals opened up. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you guys couldn't tell, the limits of fun you can have with this mod are nigh infinite. Definitely test this mod out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is like the third video I've done on it. As always, guys, leave a like, subscribe. Links are down below. And until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.